as the sun was rising on the morning of February 12, 2010, I could hardly believe my eyes. The crowd was gathering right in the shadow of the presidential palace there in Port-au-Prince. President Preval had canceled the annual Mardi Gras celebration and called his nation to three days of fasting and prayer. Pastor Rene Joseph, along with other national spiritual leaders, only had about five days to organize this event. And as the day began to break, there were more people than the eyes could even see. They were standing with their hands extended to heaven as Pastor Rene Joseph stepped to the microphone and gave the opening call. There were desperate Haitians crying out to God Almighty to forgive them and heal their country. There must have been one million or more filling that main square in the downtown area. Some had climbed trees, some were sitting on rooftops, some were sitting on tops of automobiles. From 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. each day for those three days, they came. Scriptures were read, prayers were prayed, songs of worship were offered up, declarations of repentance were made. The Prime Minister even arrived early the first morning. Oh, he, he did not speak. He simply stood there weeping for over an hour. He left only to return a few hours later, and he had President Preval with him, who then addressed the crowd. And the pastors laid their hands upon him and prayed the blessing of God over him as he stood there calling upon God to heal his country. You see, here was a nation who had been brought to her knees, and God was pleased. There were some 3,000 confirmed conversions during those three days, and of that number, 101 were confirmed to have been voodoo priests. You see, heaven opened over Haiti on February 12, 2010, and the Holy Spirit began to rain down. And I can tell you this, it is still raining.